Right guys, how you doing? I've uh, got the drill on at the minute. We're putting in the spring beans. The sun is out. It's dry, it's warm, all is well. Apart from the main mistake I've made, which is forgetting my sunglasses. Just stopped here for a minute, and I'll uh, I'll show you what what the drill does. Any chances beeping at you? These new ones. So hopefully you can hear me, but you can see where the front legs were a bit of soil in front. That's like a strip a little bit. Everything's in in line. So everything's in line there. That works up a little bit, and then these wheels turn it down to get all the air on the ground. And then the coulters come along and put the seed in the treads down there. The 
there's just there's a lot there that could have uh, stopped. But uh, the seat goes down in there, and then these wheels firm it down, so it pushes it down, and then the lemon arrow comes along and it levels it all off. Making a nice job. We we'll look for the we we'll look for the seed. Once we're about 50 to 70 mil deep. There's one there. Then another one. So yeah. It's about perfect depth there. It's doing a really nice job in here. This is quite a heavy field, so I'm pleased if it's doing a good job here, it'll be fine on the rest of it. Good job, we'll get, keep going. Tatner's already getting a bit buggy, but we've been stood in the shed for the past four months, so it's time to do some work. Yeah, so I've done this bit, seven acre. The top bit is 15 acre. I need to do the heaven on that next. So, up back there do that one and then once we get that one done we're going into a 16 acre field next because this 60 odd acre of beans is split up into like four different bits of fields so there's quite a bit of like head and deep field work to do makes it a little bit more of a pain but just the way the fields are being a lot smaller field I'm going to do that one That's just a, a boundary beeper. So it's just basically telling me that I'm going to drive. I might have to drive to the boundary, but I don't pay attention. Which we won't. So we can keep this. I need to edit this, edit this corner on here. Because we are here at the minute, and it looks like it's, it's pulling the GPS lines pulling it this way, because I've just made a new boundary. So all I do is I flick over to there, I want that on A, and then we'll press these little arrows here, and it should pull it back to square, and I can accept, yeah, you see, it's, it's like square in the middle now where I want to be, it's one of those things where I really like the I really like the GPS versa type, but then sometimes like just having to get it set up can be faffy. Um, you know, when when we used to just hand steer everything, we, you know, we didn't have GPS. You know, you just drove around the field, you just got on with it. Whereas when you've got the GPS, you want to use it, but then sometimes when you've got a new field, or you need to change how a field is. It just takes a bit more time. So I think I'll call it a video. Like I say, I'm just going to run run this seed out. Just going to run the seed out we've got, and then we'll be heading home. Got to fill it with diesel. It's been nearly empty. But uh, like, there's beans. There's more. There's another field of beans to do. There's a boat to do, and hopefully I'll get some footage of the sprayer going. I can't jump in the tractor with Dad because it has no passenger seat, so I'll uh, have to get some drone footage of him going with that. So I will see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support, the likes, and the comments. Uh, I do try and reply back to them when I can. Uh, if you've got any other questions, you can or, or feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.